If you're looking to master the kipping pull-up, this video is for you. Last episode, we covered the strength required to get your first kipping pull-up. In my opinion, that is the most vital episode. If you don't currently have the strength, click up ahead, whichever side it is, to check out the previous video on how to get your first kipping pull-up and the strength that's required to get there. This video is about mobility. Now, I understand that mobility for a lot of people won't be a limiting factor when it comes to the pull-up, but there is the type of person out there who has very stiff shoulders, they have a very tight chest, they struggle to get into those nice open arch and hollow positions, and this video is for you. Relatively short but effective, I'm going to give you some tools and some tips on how to open up your chest, your shoulders, your lats, and get you in the positions required for the hollow and arch position to be able to achieve that first kipping pull-up. Let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna look at covering the hollow arch and push. This is gonna force us into the correct position to be able to maintain a nice hollow and arch. That being said, watching the video of the arch, you might notice that I even personally struggle with some of that mobility requirements to get into a nice arch shape. This is something that I'm actively developing and will probably be developing for the rest of my gymnastics career. However, it is a great drill to help not only the awareness of what your lats and glutes should be doing in both the hollow and arch position, but it forces you to hold the end range of each of these positions, which will help push you into a ideal spot for the arch and hollow. The supinated child's pose, uh, this is more than just a supinated child's pose, it is a single arm supinated child's pose on a foam roller. This will lengthen the lat and push it to end range. We can obviously increase the difficulty of this by getting the hips to be stacked over on the knees and using your body weight, you're gonna lengthen that lat. This is also a good drill to help front rack positions in front squats or help loosen lats for something like a chin up. But why I like it is because it makes sure the lats aren't the limiting factor and they're not restricting us from getting into a nice hollow position as we're trying to pull ourselves closer to the rig. Finally, the cat cow, just a simple way to open the thoracic spine, making sure we're actively pushing away from the ground as we're performing our uh, cat and then actively extending through the spine during our cow. This will just make the upper back a little bit more primed for kipping. That's pretty much it. Simple couple of movements to follow that you can add to your program, you can add to your primers or warm-ups that will allow you to be a bit more open for something like a kipping pull-up. I'll see you guys on part three, which will cover the skill work and the shapes required to get there.